In this video we're going to turn on this custom built top spec PC by Scan Computers UK that was delivered earlier today. It's the RTX 3080 5950X Monster and this is the fourth video in the series so do check out the other videos on ordering um, build spec and uh, build process and delivery and unboxing where in this video we're going to turn it on for the first time and see what happens if everything goes okay which it should took all the bubble wrap out in the unboxing video and here we got everything that we need we've got a keyboard we've got a power cable new we've got a display port cable also got a HDMI in case there's any issue and we got a couple of mice both work but you know better to be safe so plug one plug all that in see what happens oh yeah we're going to use this monitor here this Dell 32 inch 14, 10, 1440p so we plug the display port in there look at the ports on the back yeah there's the Asus Tough 3080 uh, RTX 3080 graphics card port. You got two HDMI and three Display Port. You got plenty of options. Here's the USB. We'll use the front USBs and uh, power at the bottom. Yeah, it's turned off. And also, I'll take the panel off so you can see what it's like. So that's the keyboard and mouse plugged into the front ports and the glass covers off so we can have a look inside and we'll plug in the ethernet cable power cable and you can turn it on okay. internet. there we go with the you know, the display port into the graphics card Yeah, and then last power cable. I'll we'll leave that to last. Okay, so we are ready to switch on and see what happens. Make sure the monitor's on, not going in power save mode. Yeah, monitor's on. Yes, let's see what happens. Let's flip the switch. Is it? Any lights on? Yeah, I can see. Turn that off. Yeah. Motherboard lights on. Yeah, some RGB there, Strix. Yeah, so. We've got some RGB Strix lining. So now, yeah, the big moment. Switch it on for the first time. See what happens. Very quiet. Those fans spinning even. As you can tell, it's very quiet. Look, we've got the RGB on the cooler little bit of uh, RGB on the graphics card whoa I'm looking at that it's gone straight into Windows is it pre-installed did they install the drivers what happened yeah okay that was a quick boot silent I can't hear anything compare this to the last one we did a 1000 pound one from scan computers i mean at overclockers a ryzen 3600x and that was noisy as hell this one is silent just a slight hum from the fans are they even spinning can we tell because of the black that one definitely spinning so 
Let's have a look. Is the rad spinning? Yeah, the rads are all spinning. All the fans are spinning. Can't tell the those fans. So it started without any oh yeah the fans you can see them there shine a light on them so it started without any fuss quick boot pity I'm not going to be looking at any of the RGB I'm not interested it's going to be out of the way that Corsair is definitely you know keep, grabs your attention Okay, so first boot went without incident. So now I'm just gonna set up windows and we'll see if they've updated the graphics card, you know, Nvidia's drivers. It's probably gonna do updates. But first impressions are thumbs up, no issue, straightforward. Plugged everything in gone straight to window setup. Yeah, I'm going to go through this now. All right, so now it's going to update. It'll take several minutes. Let's leave it to update. That was quick. It'll take more than two, three minutes. And we're in Windows. Let's have a look what's installed. Either. Yeah. So everything installed uh, but NVIDIA is the up-to-date driver. Game ready. RTX 3080. Yeah, looks like it's the latest driver. Oh. What else have they got here? CPU. Yeah, they got CPU Z installed. That was pretty smooth. <laughs> About probably less than five minutes. And, uh, there we are. I don't know if you can see. AMD 5950X yeah, Everything's memory, I see memory 64 gigabyte, motherboard, ASUS Log Strix Graphics, RTX 3080 320 watt This is uh, yeah. yeah. Everything appears normal. Let's load the Nvidia. See if you get a clear ID. Is it the tough or C? Okay. Text is very small. What resolution is it running at? 1440p. Yep. What refresh rate? Oh yeah, let's see if Windows is activated. It should be. Windows features, experience. Windows 10 Pro. Installed on piece of text. It's small for me. Windows activation, yeah, 64 gigabytes of RAM, 950x. Overclock, GPU is the GPU. Asus Tough RTX, 
10G Gaming. Did they run it? Results? No results, no, they didn't run it. So, should we run a quick benchmark? 3D mark? Basic edition. Okay, so we'll do the benchmarks in the next video. Where we're going to run 3D Mark, we're going to run uh, Cinebench R20, we're going to run uh, MSI Combuster and Furmark. Yes. So we can test to make sure everything works fine. I'm not going to change any of the stock settings or install any of the software. So that'll be the next video just to do the benchmarking and looking for if there's any anomalies if it's running too hot obviously i'm going to put the cover back on as well